Well, just doing a test here. I'm trying to figure out how to do a live stream at the same time, show a video or a picture, and then interact in the chat as well. Uh, I'm all new at this, so bear with me. Let's play a little bit here. All over the country, and maybe there will be. People need to start taking to the streets. This is a dictator. Yeah, this is what was really going on during the 2020 election. Calling for violence. Calling for actually shooting the president of the United States. And you'll see. You know, there needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. Enemies of the state. Show me where it says that. He is an enemy of the state. The sitting U.S. president. This has nothing to do with politics. This is insane. The protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. Do something about your... Now, if anybody's watching this live stream, this is only a test. I'm just learning how to do it. Uh, say something in the chat if you would. I would appreciate it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Let's continue uh, doing my test here. Dad's immigration practices, you feckless. When they go low, we kick. How do you resist the temptation to run up and wring her neck? The biggest terror threat in this country is white men, most of them radicalized right up to the right. I thought white men are the worst threat to the United States. Radicalized to the right. Unbelievable. I thought he should have punched him in the face. I said, even if you lost, he insulted your wife. Yes. He came down the escalator and called Mexicans rapists and murders. He said, now look, he's, he's not even so cool with this. You can tell by the look on his face, and he hates Trump's guts. So I said, I think you should have punched him in the face and then gotten out of the race. Yeah, you would have well, been a hero. I'd like to punch him in the face. I said, if we were in high school, I'd take you behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. Punch some people in the face. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? Why wasn't the Secret Service all over, Johnny Depp? Why? This is the guy from the 1619 Project, a Republican. They're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. You're still going to have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump, is what he said. And that's a fact. Look, as his character Look at the play they had in New York. It's supposed to be a takeoff on, on uh, the emperor, the Roman emperor being killed. I think it was Caesar. Now, unbelievable that they got the expression from A. Brute when they assassinated the emperor. And stabbed them several times, but they're using the president, the current, at the time, current president of the United States as the Roman emperor being killed by the people in the Senate. Actor is stabbed to death. Where is John Wilkes Booth when you need him? This is okay. This is not inciting violence. This is all right. Like I said, if anybody's in the chat, please say something here because I'm just learning how to do this. An awful lot about blowing up the White House. Secret Service should have been all over. Look at the idiots in the background there. I believe she's a Congress member. She's screwing around on their phone. This is all theater. This has nothing to do with anything. It's all theater. House. A Missouri state senator is under investigation by the Secret Service after saying she hopes President Trump is assassinated. Yeah, she ought to be. And this idiot, too. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out tonight means violence, pure and simple. And if you see anybody from that cabinet in a restaurant, in a department store, at a gasoline station, you get out and you create a crowd. And you push back on them. And you tell them they're not welcome anymore, anywhere. And, and going after cabinet members. You push back on them. That's violence. Sadly, the domestic enemies to our voting system and wow. our honoring our constitution. Domestic terrorist enemies of democracy for mail-in voting. Constitution uh, are right at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. They're not going to stop before Election Day in November, and they're not going to stop. Look at Colbert. He's the worst of the worst. You can see the look on his face. Even he, you can tell he's like, what? After election day. And that should be, everyone should take note of that on both levels. That this isn't, they're not. Both levels? What, what, what's both levels mean? 
I'm gonna let up, and they should not. If you think we're rallying now, you ain't seen nothing yet. I'm not gonna show that because that is a someone that had walked up onto a Trump supporter and put two bullets in his chest. Well, there it is, folks. I didn't see anybody come in the chat. I'm still trying to figure this out. I'm still trying to figure this out. Is this block off the screen? I'm not really sure how this works. Um, like I said, I'm just learning like everybody else, you know. Have some patience with me. All right, so there it is. And I'll say something in the end here. So I'll just put test over. And as I usually say, until next time, goodbye and good luck.